año que viene. <risa> ¡Feliz Navidad! ¡Feliz Navidad! Wow, how is it that you look even better than before? You have a makeup touch up station outside or something like that? Is something like that? Yeah? Great, great. Anybody here comes from um, the borough of Point Fortin? Point Fort. We. <laughs> you almost make my face to say, anybody from San Angola? What about Faisabad? Do we have people here from Faisabad? <laughs> um, anybody hailing from Princess Town? I see the Princess Town contingent. Wait a minute. Miss Ferry, is that you? All right. What about anybody here from Marabella? La Romaine. You know something? I'm going to try a little spanner in the works. Anybody here from Westmoreland? <laughs> Miss, West, Miss Westmoreland say yes, and she watch me so. All right. Anybody here? Put on the glasses. Anybody here comes from, hmm, hmm. Let's go, let's go further than Princess Town. Miaro. Aha, no? Right, I win. I get a feeling I get one. Anybody here right from in San Fernando? Anybody here has not been represented in terms of a place and they want me to say the name? Say it now. Exactly. So if you come from, make some noise. All right, so the second half of this show is going to be about Parang. Now, if you heard me just now, with the single day, all I had was the accent. I really can't read nothing in Spanish. All the Spanish words I pronounce, I massacre them. It's done. It's over. But I have some assistance. So, I'm going to pull on my glasses and we're going to tell you what's going to happen now. We're going to introduce the first one, but I'm going to have some help. Watch this. The ladies of SGCSF would like to create an authentic parang experience for you this evening. Performing in first position and their rendition of a... That Spanish word, boy. Um, Roxanne, I need a producer... Um, would you please, please, come, come, Roxanne. Would you please put your hands together for Roxy as she comes? Isn't she lovely? Sorry, my bad. Right. So I would read the part I could read, and then you would read the part I can. Performing in first position, their rendition of a... Serenal. Is St. Teresa's presenting... Sereno, Sereno. Exactly what Roxanne said. Please put your hands together for first performer, St. Teresa, as they present Sereno, Sereno.
Wow. I told you it was going to get better. I told you it was going to get better. Please put your hands together for them once more. And in case you don't remember what house that was. Somebody remind them, please. Good. Now, it was remiss of me to not mention the adjudicators in this category. So we're going to fix that now. So first up, we have a Mercedes Waterman. Sadie, you can wave. Yes, yes, yes. Sadie, they don't see you. I think you'll have to stand a bit so they can see you. Good. Let me tell you a little bit about Sadie. Sadie Waterman is currently an executive com committee member of the National Parang Association of Trinidad and Tobago. She has been involved in Parang since the age of nine when she started playing the quattro. Miss Waterman has been involved in performing Parang for the last 13 years in bands such as Moments, the band, Los Rosinores, and her current band, Voces de Promesa, as both band lead and quattro player. She occasionally plays the Marac and credits her involvement in Parang to both her father and brother and the legendary Mr. Henry Pereira. Miss Waterman possesses a bachelor's in science in international relations. Her involvement with the NPATT is solely for the purpose of fostering progression and advancement of the Parang in Trinidad and Tobago and to bring a youthful spirit to the objectives set out during the term 2021 to 2023. Please put your hands together for Miss Sadie Waterman. Our next adjudicator is Dr. Francesca Carol Allard. Dr. Allard is a freelance lecturer in ethnomusicology and Spanish. Her qualifications include Spanish, pianoforte, grade eight, and theory of music. She is the lead singer in the parang group Dinamicos. Now, excuse my pronunciation of Espanol. And if it's not Dinamicos, please forgive me. Which has been, which has, she has performed in various parts of Venezuela, Ecuador, New York, and the Caribbean. The group has produced four CDs and two records. She has been many achiever, many have achieved many achievements in musical compositions alongside her brother Philip Allard. She has also functioned as a judge in the areas of Parang, Calypso, and Gospelypso. In her academic field, she has presented papers at the Christian Congre Congressional Music Conference and the Conference of Theology in the Caribbean today. She's also conducted Parang workshops and presented papers based on Parang art form, both nationally and internationally, in countries such as Cuba, Puerto Rico, Ecuador, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Jamaica. Now, this is the, these are the kind of people that are adjudicating. Would you please put your hands together for this fantastic panel of adjudicators? Starting, of course, with the classical, then to the dance, and now to the parang. Ladies and gentlemen, we've heard from St. Teresa, now representing the house that they call BAM. Blessed, blessed Anne-Marie. Please put your hands together. Now, now, before this start, before this start, I will let you know that what they're going to do is going to wow you. So hold on to your seats. Because right now, Blessed Anne Marie is going to present Christmas magic to you. Please put your hands together for them. Let's go.
Maria, el anel Gabriel anunció a María, vas a conseguir el rey al Mesías, vas a conseguir el rey al Mesías, el anel Gabriel anunció a María, el anel Gabriel anunció a María, vas a conseguir el rey al Mesías, vas a conseguir el rey al Mesías, el anel Gabriel anunció a María. Wow. Please put your hands together once more for Blessed Anne Marie. Now, I want to tell you a little bit more about that, that performance, but I need help. Where's Roxanne? Roxanne, I need my Spanish translation. Roxanne. 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 Sorry. She's coming? Yes. Hey, Roxanne. Oh, please put your hands together for her as she comes. Now, they performed in second position. And of course, they were singing and... <laughs> Blessed Anne-Marie performing... Le Anuncio. I, think, I don't think they heard in the back. So in second position was Blessed Anne-Marie and they were singing and... Anunciación. Good. And the name of the... Le anuncio. Great. Now performing in third position is Saint Xavier, and of course they are doing a nacimiento. And the name of this nacimiento is Cantemos Pastores. Exactly what Roxanne said. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Saint. I ain't hear it loud enough. For Saint Xavier. Don't mind me, I just fixed the mic. I just wait in here. Great. So even while we wait, I just want to ask a question. Everybody here can speak Spanish fluently except me. Oh. All right, I'll see you about that later. You can see. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for them as they come. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny Eiffel and I'm the house captain of St. Xavier. Hi everyone, is my name is Arana Riley and I'm the vice captain of St. Xavier. Well, there wasn't really a challenge having these students singing Spanish. I mean, Paran is such a vibrant part of Trinidadian culture and they would have been accustomed to all types of Paran, Suka Paran. Although this one would have been a bit different because they are singing in Spanish my girls had no trouble at all. One of the reasons we wanted to have a pep rally was to fundraise, but that wasn't the only reason. It was to raise house spirits. And the other houses, you know, they transfer good, but ours was the best. It was real vibes. Not only did we sell stuff, but we had a really good chance. It was real jumping up, real bandana waving. It was, it was real good. Yeah. 
Wow. I, I really love in this show. I'm, I'm, I'm backstage here just taking it all in. I'm like, wow, this really, really is fantastic. You know what I love? I love the whole cutaway video thing. I find that real fancy, you know? You're going to perform, and all of a sudden you hear some effects, and it's like, in a world where dancers danced, we at St. Joseph Convent do it differently and i love that so you know something i think we'll keep in that theme because coming up now is the house that the school is named after or the school that the house is named after the ladies of the house saint joseph and please turn your attention to the awesome cutaway video let's go Hola, hi everyone. My name is Andriana Hudlin and I am the captain of St. Joseph's House. Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Clement and I am the vice captain of St. Joseph's. That is a great question. Um, I must say it has been an experience and although challenging at times, my role as head girl and captain often complement each other. So when being head girl might have its challenges, I can always look forward to our parang practice. I'm playing quattro with my house and seeing everybody smile and dedication. And it truly makes me happy to have these roles. And I feel honored that my house and my schoolmates have put me in this position. Well, I enjoy being the vice captain of St. Joseph as my peers are easy to work with. However, it's quite demanding as it takes up a lot of my time and I live very far, but it's a small price to pay for greatness. Visitando a mis amigos para tocar 
Wow! And the people making real noise! Please put your hands on together again for the house called St. Joseph. I don't walk off that one, you know, partners. I don't walk off that one. People in the backstage, if you see people head doing the parang head, the parang head and thing. But it, you know what I love about parang music? It's how everybody swear. In terms of not the singers, because they would have to learn Espanol, but everybody who's singing backstage. If you see them, bracata If you see the faces, if you could have pronounced by face, hey, them could have real talk Spanish backstage, boy. Men make Men have emotions. I see a man watch a woman, he's like, I was like, but well, how he know this song? How he know it? Well, we had real people. We had some fantastic houses. But you know, we now go where the air is rare. The house of I wanted to see, I want to know because I know St. Joseph Ball it's out. I want to know if it have any enthusiastic Notre Dame supporters here. Ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome the house of Notre Dame.
love it. I love it. Please put your hands together for them once again. The house of Notre Dame. Oh my word. Only excellence. Excellence. Excellence in Teresa's, St. Xavier. Jessica, we love you. Well, you know, after these ladies perform, we have a seasoned performer that takes the stage and knocks it out of the park. And I'm tasked with the introduction of this said person. Well, this one is a friend of mine. Not like the others were enemies. But this one is like a little brother. It's a little brother I look up to. Because ever since he came on the scene, he did things his way. No, Frank Sinatra is not my little brother. Just in case you're thinking, no. It's a young person. Now, I don't know if anybody here follows social media. But anytime he does something, it usually ends with something like ah! coining the phrase, right down till we lie down. He is the man that now goes by the name the pan man. When I say Joshua, you say Regrello. Joshua! I find, I just should say Joshua and you say Pan Man because that was easier. I hear some people were going to eat up the name. Say Pan. When I say Joshua, you say Pan Man. Joshua. Joshua. And when I say Pan Man, you say, come in, Pan Man. He ain't here. You. Pan Man. I ain't find it convincing. One last time. And I want you to ball it out. Pan Man. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and make some noise for the man, the mist, the legend, Joshua Regrello. The category will shoes. Check one, two. You're going to hear me. Somebody say, yeah, yeah. We need to come to um, a consensus that we'll never hire an answer ever again. <laughs> I told him, don't do the extra. I said, put a sprinkle of extra. That was too much. I love Ansel. All right. This is actually my first song and dance ever. Yeah, who's welcome? Oh, literally, I don't think um, for some reason I just have not been able to come. Um, and pick up, make some noise for the box bass man, please. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you all know, but I used to play box bass for convent plenty times, and something would always happen, and I could just not read song and dance. And I've been practicing my parang dance in the mirror and stuff for tonight. So when you see it, you know, just tell me how we're looking. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple songs for you. What I want from you all is energy. Sing them at the top of your. I try, but I went all out, boy. Okay, yeah, just sing these songs at the top of your long tune.
This is not when people scream, this is like people's favorite song. Okay, no screams. Um, at this point, Miss Baker, if you here, big up Miss Baker. Is she here? Miss Baker's the only reason I pass maths, literally. Collection is correct. I think this is my last song. All right. That's the only people say, "Oh no, Joshua." This is my last song. More mic, please. This is my last song. I want all the energy. All right. All the way down. Great. Thanks so much. Um, okay, you remember when I said that was my last song? Yeah, I lied. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is always the tricky part. So, my name is Joshua Grello. They call me the Pan Man. Terrence, pick up yourself. They call me the Pan Man. But during Christmas time, Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, no, but I like the suggestion, yeah? All right, starting fresh. So they call me the pan man, but during Christmas time, they call me the pan man, Daru. Wait, I, I always get so clever and people just never, okay. This is the hard part. So I was listening to Cool Pot one day, you know Cool Pot the song, right? I say, wait, this I like this vibes. I want a a rice rice chicken and a chicken and a no, but you can't be all the parts. That's the how this song works. Use our pillow right now. It can't be everything. What's your name, Miss? I like Miss right there. Hey, me too. Give Miss like a a comp or something for I don't know. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get something to you. Right, so I like Cool Pot. I say I want to make a song like Cool Pot. And I made Pan Mandero as a song. I say, yeah, people could sing this song. But the thing is, people can't sing the song. The hard task is I'm going to try to get you all to sing this song. You all ready? Terrence, still feel me. I'm looking directly at you. And Pilau, you all ready? If, yeah, whoever's mom is this, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. They're going to call it Pilau for the rest of the... No, but school done. School done for the team. So yeah, they'll forget by next year. All right. You all ready to learn the pan one there, oh? 
You are ready to learn the pan man there, oh? Hey, that's, that's what I like. Okay, it's four lines. I believe in you all, all right? This is the first two lines. Pam, pam, pa, dam, pa, da, da, dam. Pam, pam, pa, dam, pa, da, dam. All right? Wait, I'm going to do it one more time while we sing it. If you realize I can't sing, that's why I play pan. So I need you all to sing, all right? But it's Arduino vocal. She didn't even think so. This is like a times 10 better. Anyway, one more time. Pam, pam, pa, dam, pa, da, da, dam. Pam, pam, pa, dam, pa, da, dam. Everybody take it already. One, two, three. Pam, pam, pa, dam. Pam, pam, pa, dam. That was great, though. People do actually sing it back. All right. We, you're doing great. Afterwards, you just go and change the second line. So it's pam, pam, pa, dam, pa, da, da, dam. Pam, pam, pa, dam, pa, da, dam. Pam, pam, pa, dam, pa, da, da, dam. Pam, pam, pa, dam, pa. Will I have that? Pilau, pilau, pilau. All right, let's try it together. One, two, three. Pam, pam, pa, dam, pa, da, da, dam. Pam, pam, pa, dam. Hey, pam, pam, pa, dam. A hundred out of ten. Swear, this is the Pan Mandero. You all, you all will know when to sing, all right? Tune. 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 Is the next song on your flash drive? <laughs> guys, you're killing me out here, guys. Tune, please. All right, okay. Well, they get it. I guess I'll refer to my, I have one joke. This is not planned, by the way. Like, I really am waiting at, like, you all. This is my one joke that I have. If you heard it before, just bear with me. I'm not a comedian. Um, all right. Shucks. You all have it, because after this joke, there's nothing else. Oh, you already don't have it? Oh, okay. Thanks, everybody, I guess. <laughs> My name is Joshua Gallo. They call me the Pan Man. It's been love. Thank you so much. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Pan Man Dero. <laughs> well, we want to thank you all for coming. 
Um, pertaining to the results, you know, we realized that most people here came and, you know, it wasn't about the competition, about the results and things like that. So to say that could come, you know, next term when you all come back to school and they said they'll take the vote right now. So um, if you think that the votes should be, um, the results should be had now, please show by raise of hand. Well, I have no light, so I don't know. Can I have a... Right, so we do it again. Wait, hands down, hands down, hands down. So we have two choices to make, either yay or nay. The question I would like to pose to this August body is should the results of the recently concluded song and dance competition be made public now? All in favor, please. I ain't even asked the question yet. Only make me lose, only make me waste my accent. Hold on. I'll just start back with my accent. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the question that we would like to put to this August body is whether you think that the results of the recently concluded song and dance should be made public. All in, all in favor, by raise of hand and the word yay, please indicate in favor? Yeah. All opposed? <laughs> so the results will be made public. But before this, we're going to have a vote of thanks. And this is going to be done by Miss Nadine Joseph. Of course, she's the acting VP of St. Joseph Convent San Fernando. Please put your hands together for Miss Nadine Joseph as she comes to give the vote of thanks. Good evening, everyone. Watson, oh, I'm sorry, Ansel. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. The space is really small. Chair of the Clooney Education Board and Management and Provincial Superior of the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Clooney, Sister Marina Alexander, and all of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Clooney who are so well represented here this evening. Father Jason Grell, former principals and vice principals, Mrs. Grace Belmontes, Mrs. Rabia Khan, and Mrs. Jennifer Manwaring, all our sponsors, our principal, specially invited guests, staff, and students, all patrons, good evening. This evening, as I move this vote of thanks, we would like as a school to say a really special thank you to all our sponsors. Our platinum sponsors, Mr. Michael Mohammed of Caribbean Tutorial Publishing Company Limited and Mr. Shamir Khan of Rescott Limited, who also donated the services tonight of Rescott Power Stars Panside. Our additional sponsors, Mrs. Ishmael, Ms. Anne-Marie Sumad, and Methanex. We would also like to thank for their continued patronage and support, TG Digital Prints Limited, KYN Photography, Gary Decorating Services, whose photo booth outside I hope you graciously supported, SAPA Technical and Management Team, our light engineer, Mr. Brandon Babb, our sound engineer, Mr. Sanjeev Gayadeen. A special thank you to Ibis Dance Company and the Parang Band tonight, Luces Brillantes. We take time tonight to mention and thank all the instructors for classical dance and Parang. From St. Xavier, Ms. Shuma Burke, who assisted with the dance choreography, and Mr. Kivan Kalist for the choir. Could we have a round of applause for these, please? From St. Teresa, Miss Imaya Fleming for dance, Mr. Mark Howell Paul for choir, and Alyssa Hines for parang.
for the house that bears the school name, St. Joseph. We have Mr. Kurt Alexander and Priscilla Guevara for dance, and Mr. Michael Hudling for choir. For Notre Dame, Mr. Nigel Sanchez for dance, Miss Lois Lewis for choir, and Lois Lewis and Leslie Lewis for Parang. And Blessed Anne Marie, Mr. Rain Joseph for dance, and Daniil Celestin and Henderson Hudlin for choir and Parang. Our appreciation also to CW Produc Productions and Synergy for their filming this evening. For our guest artists, Zoe Webster, Mr. Strings, and Joshua Regrello. We sincerely thank Ms. Ramden. Did you notice the lovely scarves that were worn by the classical performers? Ms. Ramden individually, uh, she sued. She sewed, she sewed, all of those and pressed them. So a big thank you to Ms. Ramden. An event like this would not be possible without the support of a very strong committee. I would like you to really raise a round of applause to the Song and Dance Festival Committee led by Mr. Chaiba. They really did a wonderful job that Watson, sorry, Ansel, kept saying he was overwhelmed. But we're accustomed to excellence in the South. Yes. We would also thank the SJCSF production team led by Mrs. Kalicharan Figura, assisted backstage as well by Ms. Otley. All the many house teachers as well who encouraged and supported and probably wiped some tears from students. Parents, we could not do this without you. Your patience, your support continue to be unstinting and they're pushing me out of the way. <laughs> Finally, we would like to thank, to thank all teachers, all students for their robust support and their general assistance. We thank you, our audience, for your generous patronage and there are no results to be given tonight. Friendly.